and now to health matters. The Global Fund for Malaria is distributing over 3.1 million free insecticide-treated mosquito nets ITNs to people in the Gun State. Project Director John Ocholi said this is a part of an effort to reduce the high rate of malaria in the country. Ocholi, who was speaking at the media event in the state capital, Abelkuta, said Nigeria is making progress in the fight against malaria. The goal of the IT and distribution campaign is to ensure every family has access to the preventative nets and reduce health care costs associated with the disease. So for this campaign, Society for Family Health, supporting the Ogun State Ministry of Health and with support from Federal Ministry of Health and other partners, we plan to distribute about 3.1 million nets to households, yes, to every community in the state. But there's a catch to it. And the catch is that you as the media need to understand this catch so that you can help us. In 2010, the prevalence of malaria in Nigeria was about 45%, which means from every 10 people you count, five of them have the malaria parasite in their body. By 2015, we were able to bring it down to somewhere around 27%. Which means that for every 10 you count, maybe three people have the parasite. But at that last count, 2021, 2022, we're now seeing that we are getting close to like 9, 21, 22%, which means that from every 10 people you count, only two people will have the parasite. Now speaking on the distribution modalities, the Urban State Malaria Elimination Program Project Manager, Mrs. Olamide Adeinka, disclosed that the government would be engaging 14,000 personnel with over 1,400 distribution points across all the 20 local government areas of the state. These nets are already in the state and they are being moved as we speak to the local government areas where there are LGA stores and from these LGA stores they will be moved to identified distribution points for distribution to beneficiaries. Uh, across the state at the local government level we have um, personnel that will be distributing. There are community members who will be involved as household mobilizers, distributors, recorders and other personnel too throughout um, the campaign. So it's, it's a whole lot. A lot of people will be involved. Over 14,000 personnel will be engaged across the state. There have been pockets of misinformation though. And even still now, there are informations that are not complete or not completely packed or not completely packaged for the beneficiaries. For instance, you watch in the television advertisement that has to do with uh, malaria treatment and so on. Um, what you often see is somebody break down with malaria and given maybe a particular choice of medicine to drink. I assure you, there's one key aspect of that information that is missing. How do you know it's malaria? It was not featured in that message. So you need to be tested. There should be an aspect the media should encourage for the information to include testing when you feel the way you are feeling as shown in that advertisement, for instance. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.